I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels... heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Oh, damn, I actually really like this animation style. Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. Or you can press and hold the right mouse button and... Press the right mouse button NAND move the mouse around. Why don't you try looking around the classroom, okay, father? Chair! What is this? That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Hey there, new kid! The next semester is about to start! Starting today, the school will be your entire world! An orientation guide? It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet. And there's something handwritten on it. I already did all this, so I'm not gonna do it again. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? <gasps> it's a door! I had better look around the classroom a little more before I head out. Okay. Um, I'm gonna make sure you can always investigate everything that you can. I can get points. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have these to keep the weirdos from just wandering in. Yeah, yeah like me? Clock! Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. I was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Uh, you fell asleep, you dumb fuck. What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. I mean, if I were to knock on it... I, yes, yes, let's knock on the metal plate. Yep, definitely metal. <laughs> Thick, too. Very solid. Wait. That's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is, I got myself so wound up I passed out in the main hall, then someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing the R key. There was something I could click over here. No, leave. Okay, fine. Leave the area? Sure, why not? 1A. Jeez, this hallway's kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now I'll just head to the main hall. Okay. Use the WASD key to move through the hallway. Hold down the shift key while moving to run. Also, you can press the tab key to bring up a map. Uh, I shouldn't need it if I just remember, like... Tab key again to close the map, how convenient. Yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, go that way, that way. Secrets. That, Secrets. That, open door on the left. The school store, I guess, is not open. Yeah, be, be, be in the tape. I just want to look for secrets, my gamer instincts. Can't go anywhere yet. Fuck. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? <laughs> what the fuck? Who invited the Street Fighter dude? Huh? Alright. That's not and a new guys are all. Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. I don't know. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Introductions time. Um, how's it going? My name is Makoto. I'm not gonna pronounce the last name. Nagi. Nagi. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curious. Just say weird, bitch! 
Mm-hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation and really. Shut up, Hifumi. Really, dude. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Listen to me! Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you and you must accept your due punishment. I hate you. Already. I want to <laughs> rip off your eyebrows. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right! Everyone just calm down! Listen, why don't we all just go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? What is your hair, my guy? The hell? Now's no time to be for friggin' introductions. <laughs> maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we supposed to... How are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't each other... Bleh, if we don't... Strong. If we do not know each other's names. Yeah. That's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way then. We, Then we can move on to whatever else. Sounds good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is as good a chance I'm gonna get. I already looked up everyone on the Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out! I don't expect you to memorize any of them. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at a student and press the left mouse button to talk to them. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. No. Do you want to do voices? I'm going to do voices. I just can't fucking think right now because I've got this music just blasting in my fucking eardrums. Yeah, I can probably do the majority of the girls. That's just since I kind of know some how to do some of their voices. I could also try and do girl voices, but you are going to be here every time I do videos on this, so I am going to rely on you for that. At least for mm -hmm. most of them. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Okay, you fucking loser. Okay, ultimate moral ultimate compass. compass. Ultimate moral compass. It sounds like you're gonna be ultimate buzzkill. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. So essentially, I'm not gonna like him. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Naegi, right? Did I get that? Basically, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a good name. A strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. No. You hear me? <laughs> and to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it! Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right! This guy is kind of annoying. Kind of? Let's go with the, uh, avocado shape dude. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. You have two voices. I am Hifumi Yamada. Okay, I'll try that voice. <laughs> Ultimate fanfic creator. That... Mm-hmm. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. I mean, you definitely look like someone who would spend a lot of time writing fanfics. Mm-hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event had passed into a legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. Uh, did you also cut off your ear? I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fanfiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Naegi, you would be comp you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm-hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning and boo- what, what kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basis- What? It's about embracing our basest urges. 
I don't think I want to comprehend it. All right, eeny, meeny, miny, you! Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. That's really nice to know. Yeah, basically just do your girl voice for her. Like a fifth person of her. That was not even the regular girl voice. That was me doing an impression. <laughs> I'll still break that. Uh, I'll try it. All right, what's yours? Ultimate pop sense. Oh, of course. Okay. So am I doing this one? Yeah. Okay. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent. I can't. Oh my fucking god, dude. Yeah, let me. Can I smell your hair? Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, I frankly I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful, almost like a doll or something. Did you just read my fucking mind? You don't get to do that. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm... psychic. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Hey, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be mocking these voices so hard throughout this entire series. As you should. <laughs> huh? Hey... By any chance... Now what? <laughs> huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto did... Just hold on! <laughs> Just hold on! Alright. Jeez, you guys, how long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um... Uh, um... Stop that. <laughs> Sorry, I just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat! I want to kick this dude in the face. You're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll ever- we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Alright. Uh... Here. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but- I'm voicing her, fuck you. Yeah, I was trying to- I'm, I'm mocking the voices. Like I said, I'm doing it for everyone. I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Ultimate Shy. Ultimate Writing Prodigy. Okay. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. And two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pole. <sighs> Is that how it works? Is that how y'all fucking pick it? <laughs> Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type with... What with her masterpiece being a romance at all. <laughs> What's your problem? What the fuck is that smile? What? what? It, it, it's not polite to stare, you know? I'm staring at that smile. You literally look like a character out of a creepypasta. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature! I need to adjust this volume so bad. Felt the creature? No, I just thought... I know what you just thought. Yeah, I was thinking about what your neck looks like under that shirt. I... <laughs> what the fuck? You just thought you'd never see such an ugly woman. You just thought, thought it was so funny. Huh? <laughs> no, that's not what I was thinking at all. You. Just don't bother trying to lie to me! I know it's true, otherwise you- I know you can't stand looking at me! If that was the case, why would I still be looking at you? Anyway... Uh, whatever, I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow, talk about an inferiority complex. 
I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Alright, so we got all of them besides, uh, fucking... What does this guy remind me of? Like, Thundercats? Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Not too bad. Not horrible. Not too bad, yeah. Ultimate Baseball. Oh, of course you're a baseball dude. I recognize that name. <laughs> you changed up a lot. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter, the Ultimate Baseball Star. And that superb athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? Huh? Huh? What's wrong? N nothing I'm just surprised. They figured with you being the ultimate baseball s baseball star and all. Give me a break. What? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty-looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously. I'm like mega embarrassed right now. What the fuck? I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is a part of national championship regulations. I mean, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know... I don't like baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced, and he was still his team's star player. He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I'm gonna pick a different voice for this dude. Now that I know how he talks. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Oh god. <laughs> I forgot we gotta do this another <laughs> ten times. You are off in the corner. That gives me hope that you are going to be a character I will like. I love Hina! Hina. I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. Sup? Good first impression. <laughs> I get the voice Tina. I love her. Ultimate swimming pro. Swimmer. Oh, okay. I'm not Tina. <laughs> she's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is without a doubt the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um proportions has been widely discussed online, of course. Mm. So uh what was her name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Naegi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. Sure. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it. Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. Stop staring at me like that. <laughs> the first impression is starting to go. <laughs> She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I'm gonna try that and fail. I've never heard of that before in my life. Hmm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Hmm. hmm. Illiterate! Well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it, write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet ya! She's probably gonna be one of my favorite characters. <laughs> sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Okay, uh, let's go with you. I'm Hi! Her. I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Okay, what's with the Joker smile? Ultimate fashionista, of course. Okay. Anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... 
feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? Yeah. <laughs> well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Uh, just like literally all of them. Photoshopped? I swear. This guy really is ordinary. He's ordinarily dumb. Yeah, you know, edited Helen back with like computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. Of course they aren't real, dumbass. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're so surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by certain dangerous little diva of ours. They make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Sounds about right. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. <laughs> uh, let's go with you. You're green. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Am I voicing this one? No, I am. I love Chihiro. Ultimate programmer. Okay. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. I don't know why this is coming to mind. I think it might be that one streamer, uh... What does he call himself? Like, it's this one dude, and he looks exactly like a girl, and he's saying that the the pipeline to becoming, like, a femboy is knowing how to code. And that is what this is reminding me of. Anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which was, which is why I said nice to meet you. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, good point. Sorry. If you start crying over that, you don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting-edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Hey, so listen. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm really sorry. What are you apologizing for now? Um... Well, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why our fans are so into her. <laughs> uh, he's getting horny. Uh, who's this dude? Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet ya. I really like this dude. <laughs> Gang leader, of course. Mondo Awada, huh? Which means... He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Nice to meet you, too. Yo. Hell yeah. I'd better be careful around him. One wrong word, and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Damn it! Didn't get... <sighs> Fine. All right. Kyoko. Hey, boys, her. Fuck you. Um, can I ask you your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigui. Your name is... What the fuck? I don't know what she's... Shut up, bitch. Ultimate. Ooh. It's so fucking loud. I'm gonna have to do so much sound editing. She's pretty tight lips, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me. Ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so, what are you doing at this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you. So I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. <laughs> God. 
Those four over there are the only ones left. All right, nerd boy. Name's Byakuya Togami. The voice. Damn. Ultimate affluent project. Okay. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Byakuyu Togami. He's the... Byakuga. Byakua. Byakua. Byakua Togami. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started making managing business operations, and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of Ultimate Affluent Progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope's Peak Academy thread online. Come on. We're done with inter introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. Well, I hate him. His aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level. Like a king in training. Everyone on the Byakwa hate train! I am fully willing to kick this dude in the dick. Hair like mine. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. This dude's one of my favorites. <laughs> Our favorite dumbass. Ultimate clairvoyant. Yasuhiro... Yasuhiro... Uh, known as Supernova in the psychic community. The trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune-telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be... Uh, okay, I give up. Huh? What happened? For serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot, running off with a skyfish in its mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, <laughs> see, and well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. Alright, you! I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. That is fantastic. Ultimate. I want to meet Celestia Luden. Huh? <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do her accent very well, but I have Ludenberg. It's my Luden. name. But if you don't Shut mind, I'd prefer you to call me Celeste. Okay. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I'd much rather you call me Celeste. I'm so fucking confused. <laughs> She's polite. Yeah, I know. I've been, like, I'm worried about editing this audio because I'm gonna have to try and figure out how to make, like, how I'm gonna make Ash loud enough, make this quiet enough to bear, and also, like, I'm speaking really fucking loud right now because I can't hear my own thoughts. Hey, guys. Rocksalt here. Hey, guys. My name is Rocksalt. This music is, this game is loud as fuck. Oh. Ow. Ah. Ah. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg, she's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> I'm not making any bets with you, just so you know. That smile is beyond deceptive. I'd better watch myself around her. All right, now you. I am Sakura Ogami. 
That is not their voice. Yes. I'm gonna Big need muscle to woman. I'm gonna need to hear it one more time. Otherwise, I'm just gonna do a Russian act. Ultimate martial artist. I'm just gonna do a Russian accent if I don't get it right. He, oh jeez. I almost asked her if she was a guy. <laughs> Uh, the day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. <laughs> What are you doing in my school? Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates. She's the famed missing link. Wow, that's so rude. Any incoming Hope's Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you. I can literally just use my regular voice, just a little bit more feminine, and that is her voice. Probably, yeah. Uh, huh? Yes? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what do you... I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. <laughs> what a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. Name one person here who is, besides maybe the biker dude. In fact, he probably wouldn't. He'd just pull a knife. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. And with that, all of the introductions are done, and we are 46 minutes into the recording. Hmm, even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Be quiet, incel. I agree. <laughs> he is an incel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Wait, was this me or you? You. Okay. Well, you see, uh, um, Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? <laughs> Just after each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And then we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! I love this dude. <laughs> exactly! That's why we're all freaking out! And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes... You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. And then there's that main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What's it doing there? Maybe we got caught up with some kind of like, you know, crime or something? Yeah, totally. What, like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually out of school? Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the school's orienta orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it, so I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. Oh, so you think they, they wanted us... Eh. So you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? Huh, well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. I can feel everyone's tension evaporating. Then, it began. Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh, hi, dude. He's Bear. Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check, one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. I can do this voice quite easily. Am I on? I can do it can too. everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Well then! The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so. 
completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. Basically, go right now, got gotcha. you. That's all. I'll be waiting. I want to kick you in the nose! Huh? What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. H hey, what are you going to- Well, you're just going to take off like that? Could it be- Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank god it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? Alright, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh. Uh... Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they have to go and kill the moon? Wait for me! I wanna go with you! <laughs> that is that then. I will see you all there. Anyway! Not that anyone first, but I'm gonna go too. <sighs> I feel like she's fishing for compliments. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I'd had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looks like it, I wasn't the only one. <gasps> This... this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However... Maybe. But just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. Please don't fucking do that voice for her. I hate you for that. I am going to keep on doing a voice, and you are going to deal with it. You are going to make literally everyone on the planet hate you if you do that voice for her. Okay, fine. I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of... No, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Alright, R. Exit the gym! Yes! Shut up! Jim. Hey, come on. God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. No, this place is even worse. Uh, um, why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. I forgot what voice I did immediately. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. That's good enough. Eh, it sucked. <sighs> well, hell. It ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Mondo, stop! No running! Well, then. I, too, shall go. That one was actually okay. I don't see any need to do any reading. Door. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Hi. Oh. It really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! See? Told ya. It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Okay. This video is about to be like 40 minutes long. Hey. Huh? Uh... Teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! I don't care! And I am this school's headmaster! I care! I totally <laughs> don't want to get expelled or anything! <laughs> it was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing was... Utterly incomprehensible. 
Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I've been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Say what? I don't even want to read his lines because the, like, interjections he's doing is just perfectly fine. What? What? That teddy bear can talk? Calm down, I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey, come on now. Oh, I actually have to do this one. I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma! And I'm your headmaster! What? <laughs> what? It moved! Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything! You've cut me deep! Deeper than the Mar Mariana Trench! <laughs> My remote control system is so complex. Even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it! Barrett. This is hurting my throat. Ugh. Ah, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams! I just couldn't bear that! Well... Better that, really. You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on! We really must hurry and get started! Come on. Giving up already? Another stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, okay, so he has abandoned the gag. Good morning. Everyone stand at attention and bow. And good morning. Good morning. What's your problem? You don't have to say it back. Now then. Now then, let us commence with a most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here would be like. My throat is starting to hurt more and it's getting more difficult to do this voice. <laughs> uh. Now, to make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Ah, now then. Regarding the end date for this communal life, there isn't one. In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. But what did she just say? Until the day we die? <sighs> Slurps and juice. You're actually doing a really good job voice. Uh, it hurts! Oh, but fear not! We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Uh, hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? I am not screwing with you! I am no liar! Of that, you can be 100% sure! Uh-huh. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. I have crossed my character. <laughs> cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school. They're there to keep us trapped in here. Phew. That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come! So with all of that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon! Hey, come on. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all. Uh, this is just a really bad joke. Yeah, cut this shit out, it isn't funny anymore! You keep saying this is a lie! Or a joke! A bunch of skeptics, all of you! What are you gonna do? <coughs> but I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? 
You decided of your own free will to attend Hope Speak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey, um... Oh, but you know... I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. R really? As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. Call it the graduation clause. Now, then. now let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. I am starting to break the voice. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That is, that, my students, is the graduation clause. What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another. M murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But you know, Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! And I just find that so darn exciting! What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is... it's... Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other! I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it! I love this guy and hate him. We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? See what? Yes, yeah, stop blabbering on with all this nonsense! Just let us go home already! Blabbering? <laughs> well, now I gotta try. Oh, blabbering? Could have been better. Yeah, do you hear my voice starting to go? <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Blabbering, blabbering. What do you mean, blabbering? That is the thumbnail. Blabbering on about blabbering on! You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go! Let us go! You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over! Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world! Got it? And you can kill as much as you want to kill, so go ahead! Go on a kill, kill, killing spree! That is gonna sound horrible if someone were to hear me. <laughs> Alright, come on. How long are you gonna keep this up? Hmm? Eh? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us, so you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, right? <laughs> I'm right, right? Yeah, because, I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, I like, dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? <laughs> What's the matter? Joke? What do you mean? Like your hair? You son of a bitch. I'm not screaming that. Mondo roared out and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He'd locked onto his target. And gets... Little piece of shit. I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds. What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations. Shut the fuck up. Let me out of here. I swear to Christ. Hey, damn it. What? No smart ass comeback this time. Stop that goddamn beeping and say something. Watch out. Watch out. Get rid of it. Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... <laughs> the hell?! What the? the...? That sure as shit wasn't a joke! It blew the hell up! There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. 
explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I've never seen anything like it. But you know, that means the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you I'm not a teddy bear! I'm Monokuma! I'm gonna keep on doing it that way. <laughs> hey, dudes! What? There's another one? You, you son of a bitch! You seriously tried to kill me just now? Of course! <laughs> I don't even want to read. Well, yes! I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time. But you'd better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. Hey, so does that mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes! Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again! That's not even punishment, that's just wrong. Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you! Ta-da! Ta-da! This is our official student handbook! Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it... The E-Handbook! Ahem, yeah! Well, moving on! This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it! When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one! Now, this is not your everyday notebook! It has so many more uses than that! Also, it's completely waterproof! Splash it, wash it, drown it! It'll keep on ticking! And thanks to its space-age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons! Very resistant! It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly! My throat hurts so fucking bad right now. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated! Shing. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect society, for example would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Bye-bye. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya. And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So, guys, how would you define what we just experienced? What the crap? How? What? I don't understand any of this. Huh? We have to live here forever? Or, or kill? <laughs> what? what just happened? Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is, if you want to get out of here alive, you have to kill someone, right? But killing someone, that's... <laughs> we were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school! And now we're supposed to start killing each other? Th this is... This is... This is... What is this? A lie. It's what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. It, this all has to be fake. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So, in other words... Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility, and that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is someone going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high, is not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Prologue, welcome to despair. The end.
Surviving Students 15 to be continued. Thank <laughs> you.